DHL workers are still on strike. They walked off the job Thursday, and you could be wondering if your package is going to make it on time. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan shows you how this could impact the tri-state. Brett, DHL says your packages should still be delivered on time, but the workers striking at their facility is only the latest example of unions wanting a better contract delivered. Auto workers in our area are now on strike. Unionized local actors want the community to know that they are still on the picket line. Drivers in our area's second largest district are now on strike. DHL union employees at CBG are officially on strike. The tri-state hit the picket line this year. The mighty, mighty team stars! The mighty, mighty team stars! And the 1,000 DHL employees at the CBG Air Hub are just the latest. <laughs> The workers who make the record profits possible for these companies are not being cut in on the share. The demands from many of them have been similar. Record profits means record contracts, and we're not asking for anything that's not fair. All these record profits and our checks are staying the same? if that's fair. It's the enduring strength of the labor market. With a low unemployment rate, unions are leveraging the high demand for workers. Unions have given a lot back over the last 20 years and now they're trying to trying to get some what they gave back. Union membership nationally was at a record low last year, 10.1 percent. It's still a, a, a relatively small fraction of our, of our overall workforce. A number that's been declining since the 1950s. A little bit of optimism, perhaps, finally, that they might reach a deal. But after a year of record new contracts across many industries, a question about whether it will translate to the, to the non-union firms throughout the country is, is unclear. The UC professor there said he's not surprised that unions have been successful this year. That's because of the strong labor market. The question is, if that changes, what happens to future union contract negotiations? Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.